Hello, my name is Jessie, and today I'm going to talk to you about LibKey, an open source computer reservation, time, and print management system. LibKey provides a way for your users to access public computer systems, whether it's in a computer lab, a school, or even the reference area. LibKey consists of two parts, the LibKey server and the LibKey client. This completely web-based server allows you to customize an experience for their user so when they come into the library they can easily register and start using that system. The customizations you make allow them to easily come up and begin that process at the public system. So let's start by looking at administration. This is where you're going to define your users, your clients, reservations, and prints. The first thing we'll start with is our users. You'll see here this gives us a list of users in the system where I can see any of those individual users. In this case, I'm looking at one of our guest accounts. I can come in and edit that, change the password, even mark them as a troublemaker. This would be if they abuse the privilege, you can mark them as a troublemaker so they cannot log in. You can also delete that user from the system. If we come up to the top, we can refresh the list. We can create a new user in the system, defining their username and password. Or we can even create a guest. Think about the opportunity you give to, let's say, non-residents. Um, maybe you allow them to come in. Um, they don't have a library card. This would allow you to create a guest account for them uh, for a one-off use. You can also do that for multiple guests. So if you live in a town where maybe you get some seasonal visitors that they don't create accounts, but you want to give them access to the public's computer system, this would give you the opportunity to print off um, a certain amount of guest passes. The next thing you'll see here is the client administration. This is where you can see all of those computers that are available in the system. Now you'll notice here I have mine set to all, but if I scroll over a little bit I can see children's room, computer lab, um, and even the main floor. So in my library here I have three separate locations where there are public access computers. As I go down and view those, you'll notice that we can modify time for those computers, we can adjust reservations, cancel reservations, lock or unlock the computers, log it out, delete it, restart it, and even turn it off. So this gives your staff some opportunity, rather than going out on the floor and controlling it, they can do it from the administrative back end. They can of course do that in bulk as well, turn on all clients, restart, or even turn them off you will notice that there's even the option to create new users from this tab. The next option you'll see here is reservations. So LibKey gives you the option to turn reservations on. So maybe you have a large computer lab and people can come in, make a reservation for a computer, whether they're all being used or if you allow them to make a reservation in advance, this gives them the opportunity to then log into the system. You'll also see a prints layout, and this will show any prints um, that are in queue to be printed. Let's look at some of our administration. The first thing you'll see here is the history. This is going to show you the history of any login or logout for any of those clients in your system. Now, you'll notice here mine goes all the way back to 2017. So you can keep that history as long as you want, or you can set it on a rolling basis for the last 365 days for the last two months. The next thing you'll see is statistics. Statistics is going to give you that typical report feature where it allows you to run a date to date time and then you can view that information, print or download. You can do that by location, by client, or by reservation. The next thing you'll see here is closing hours. This is where you can come in and define those closing hours for your library. Now, if like in my situation here, we have three separate locations, I can actually define a separate room that may have hours that close a little bit early. So for the computer lab, maybe we shut down 15 to 30 minutes early. That allows me to define that information so those computers will shut down before the rest in the library. Now let's talk about some of the settings that you'll see when you're setting up your LibKey system. 
The first thing is time management. This is where you're going to define a time allowance per day, per session, and the same for your guests. The next thing you'll see is time extension. So this gives you the opportunity to say, if our patron is on the computer for a certain period of time, allow them to extend to, and then you can define that information. Under client behavior, you'll see the opportunity to select the type of reservations that can be made, either a first come first serve, reservation only, or a hybrid of the both, first come first serve, with the option to place a reservation. You can also define that inactivity. So let's say I made a reservation for 11 a.m. I have until X amount of time to get to that reservation. Libkey gives for some customization. You'll notice here I can do a login banner. So you can bring your library logo and branding directly into that interface. Following that branding, you'll see the power settings. This allows you to take actions for shutting off the system. You can define any custom JavaScript on both the administrative and public interface. You can view data retention, so whether you anonymize or you keep that history for a period of time, you can define that. If it is left blank, it will be kept indefinitely. Guest passage passes will give you the management feature where you can come in and set up those bulk or batch entities in the system. This allows you to essentially enter that information in um, and define it. The next thing you'll see here is ILS integration. So when we're first setting up your libkey kiosk management system, we will set that SIP connection up to talk to your ILS. There is LDAP configuration if your library utilizes that. The next thing you'll see here is print management, and this is where we'll define that printer configuration. Reservations allows you to define a timeout and minimum reservation time that is required for those public computer interfaces. Next, you'll see the terms of service. Again, bringing in your library's policy is important, and this is where we want to see those terms of service text. Next, you'll see your user settings and advanced settings. This will allow you to define both those patron categories that you have in your system and any rules that are unique to those patrons at your library. The last thing I'll show you today is the public interface. The public interface is what your patrons would see if you utilize the reservation system. This is where they can come and make a reservation. They can also see which computers are available. We've had some wonderful libraries share information with us. Um, some have used a Raspberry Pi to show the reservation so anyone can see which ones are available or you can just have them walk up to a terminal and make that reservation. Either way it makes it pretty easy for them to make or cancel that reservation in the system. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions please let us know at Bywater Solutions.